lot of, a lot of classes to pick from. Try this Vanguard seemed kind of interesting instead. That's what these rogues are. Let's try that fire one. That one seemed cool. Let's see if I can find it. Is it a slayer? Is it a fighter? No. Sword fate? No. Monk? Ranger? Flame warden. Primary cut. Efficiencies. Light armor, medium armor, shields, tipped armor fields, simple and martial weapons. Yeah. Sounds dope. So we've got four points in dexterity, wisdom, two points in constitution, two points in charisma. Let's get dexterity and wisdom higher. Constitution. Athletics, mobility, stealth. bonus. Strength, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, charisma.
Choose abilities, okay. Skill focus. That's my skill focus. Yeah, on persuasion. With light weapons, elven curve blades, a stock can precise me. Choose one type of weapon. You can also choose unarmed strike. But if you gain plus one bonus all attack rolls. Special point blank shot. This one is with light weapon. Sounds like I want to use that. Favorite enemy. Undead. Fuck yeah. Trivial tech. May I see your entrails? Careful now. No mistakes. An expected outcome. I stand ready. We shall over away, you rat. This will hurt. Someone else would make but this is my chance to run. All according to plan. No mistakes. Aim carefully. No contest. Strike with all your might. This doesn't suit me. Our path. Follow if you dare. Interesting. You should have run! Enemy approaching! I'm... wounded. This will hurt. Alright, I will call you... Good, chaotic, good. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Where are they? This is taking forever! It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Brevoy is a relatively young nation. Uh... All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Swordlord Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. 
You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? Tiefling girl is standing nearby speaking in a hushed voice. Noticing you've heard her comment, she blinks at you coyly. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially... Words, words, words. Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Restoff... Now you're talking. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Hi, my name is.
name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll... Re and what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Uh, just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new badge of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in... This icon, okay. Help! Help! The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Combat. Combat happens in real time, but you can pause the game at any time to assess the situation and give orders to your companions. To pause or unpause, press space. Click on opponent or to attack them. Dice rolls. Most of the games are based on dice rolls. Initiative. When it starts, it makes it earlier.
equipment. Character. Marshal. Loot. Okay, weapon finesse. So I just don't have a good weapon yet. Follow my lead. Affliction. Just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamani is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You. Attack me? Leave this one to me. Adventures I don't tolerate the fools. Oh, 
go ahead. Let's see. Um Not necessarily better. Kitty. Inspiration. This should do it. I'm leading you out of our store. A calculated risk. <laughs> oh, it's you. Barbarian. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians? I think that's exactly how he. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. I want the I'm gonna get the barbarian likely. I love a barbarian. Giant, ghost, frost giant. All right. Assassin's dead. Spear. What is this? A long sword. I kind of like that. Let's see. See how that stacks up. Got all these fucking tabs. So I'm proficient in. Wait. So I do. It's a hard chance to hit. So four. Okay, so I think I gotta stick with light weapons. But I, what I need. With a light weapon. Okay, so I just need elven weapons, probably. 
This is blocky, you can't make it through this way. Skill check, sometimes interacting. Okay. It is finished. Hell yeah. This and we'll have leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me! Probably do more damage. I know the way. Oh, but anything else? First up, break the door to the armory and find some weapons. Okay, I guess this is the armory. Collect that. Collect. Watchkeepers stuff. Oh yeah. What else we got? Power shield, can't lose that. Light mace, dope, dope. Okay. Follow my lead. Press the tab to highlight. Okay. Ooh, good to know. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard salaries. All things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Finally, a voice... <sighs> Do what you want. I don't care. It was just a suggestion, but... Okay, so that... Armor check penalty max dexterity. Okay, this is good. In due time. Party encumbrance. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway. A and just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem dead? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but the What do you mean, undead? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off- Alright. You will encounter many traps in your adventure. When any of your character pushes out, they automatically negate your stuff skills from the success of trap, blah 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 blah. Okay. Please focus on the goal. I see something. I failed. I'm sorry. Anything else? I'll go ahead.
scrolls. Okay, scrolls. You found a scroll singing this item. Okay. Let's try this way. What troubles you? I deserve better. Anything is possible. No mistakes. Share your will. I wrote it like I saw it. I know what to do. Request. And Lindsay was called forth. State your desire. Okay, so that's down. So those interact with each other. Time's not waiting. Okay, so those are up, 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 and then down. Up, 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 down. Oh, I need to think about this one. Adventures call to them. Get that up. I am prepared. You have my attention. Letting the ink dry. Enlighten me. Those are up, and this one. No. Focus on the goal. Up, up, up. That's up. Speak. That's down. Anything is possible. Then There we go. 
Ooh, Jesus no Christ. A chance. Ah, everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you. It's not fun at all. Psh. Of course, I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. I am Kaiesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady... I don't know where you're heading, but out... Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. You're wrong. Who would know better than I the severity of my own wounds? How rude. Speaking to a dying man that way. Look, I can't even move. What? It, 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 it can't be. But I'm gravely wounded. I can't even stand on my own two feet. Yeah. It, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world... and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Look, aha, some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Fire doesn't frighten me, thanks to hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you sick. Some game events play out as illustrated book episodes. The decisions you make during these episodes can have drastic impacts on the development of the game's plot and some dialogues. You will often need to make various skill checks. Okay. So our adventure started earlier and much more tragic than we'd expected. The whole team gathered in the hall yesterday have been reduced to but a handful of brave souls led by burgers and not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi Eldori was waiting for us but to get to her we'd have to march through fire literally. As we approached the burning building the Corona's mouth before we rushed tried to find a less dangerous passage. 
Drenched ourselves with buckets of water. Um, we will uh, drench ourselves in water. After that, we covered. We shouldn't have wasted our time looking for another path while we did the first. The fire caused extensive damage to the mansion. As soon as we entered, we heard a horrible cracking sound. The flaming wall next to us quickly slanted, threatening to fall on our heads with no time to think. Uh, we darted away. We ran forward, hoping to make it under the wall before everything crashed down. One of us pressed up against the wall, trying to hold it up a bit longer. Let's go with mobility. Pass I don't know what saved us today. Maybe the gods or luck or just our own dexterity, but the flaming logs and red hot bricks didn't hit any of us. The way back was blocked, but we weren't turning back anyway. We only had one way to go. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke. The burgers led us stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We'd made it to the hallway landing, leading to the bank banquet hall, and we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty, but now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger. An armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by us. They are wounded, help me pull them out. Tartuccio grumbled something about how Jumanji was waiting for us. Well, burgers. Shouted Valerie that she should leave them and join us to help Jumanji Aldori. Though I hesitated for this valiant warrior, two things come above all else, loyalty to her pledge, and duty to her comrades in arms. Now she had to choose one over the other. Burgers showed exceptional eloquence, no easy thing with the flames roaring all around. With a heavy sigh, Valerie stopped arguing and followed us to the dome of the bank hall where the battle was already in full swing. Conditions, one of your characters is fatigued. Just one of the negative conditions that affect to notify the characters under the effect of condition symbol. Okay, guard. Okay, my character Ready for anything. is Potion of Cure of Faithfulness. Potion of Shield of Faith. Okay. Um. Front, you're also in the front, you're, you're on the flank. Two are in the back, okay. This repent. Let us strike as one. Your life ebbs low. No. This should do it. Unworthy. <laughs> <laughs>
in due time. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why she wasn't killed. The bad... Yes. Such a gambit would be typical of Iroveti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're... How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this woman. I saw how she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. He's got the eyes of a sp Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it. An attack is no reason to break into rooms in someone else's house. And that was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but... Your words. What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? Some scoundrels set your mansion on fire. And as we were approaching the room, we saw your brave guards, your underlings, dying in the fire, begging to be saved. And what did our leader do? She passed right on by. Alas, sometimes such decisions must be made. Don't blame yourself. You did the right thing. May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but... She behaved decently, as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know it. Lady Aldori. Most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will... I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. If my leader allows, I would join her... Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the- As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi- I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we- All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactas Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. 
He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies... While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is... And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restov. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious.